I've broken already, off to a great start. That's not the only disappointing thing about today. Last week we obviously made some crystals and um, I'm here to tell you that I followed the instructions for the first time in my whole entire life. I regret to tell you that we don't have anything other than liquid. Maybe I put it in here when it was too soggy. It's like actual melted, it's like melted. Did I make acid? It is very hard. So I think we should do some real science then, what do you reckon? Because this is forensic science and nothing says I'm an eight year old on Christmas quite like wanting to solve meth lab crimes. It just adds an element of science, right? Yes, that works. Okay, we have invisible ink. Footprint analysis. Well, you motherfuckers are not getting a footprint from me. <laughs> Imagine that. Wait, I could sell that. I could NFT my footprint. What do you reckon? No free toes. That's what NFT stands for, just in case you were wondering. I should read the instructions, shouldn't I, actually? But what if I... But isn't half the fun... Think about it this way. As a woman in STEM, um, I already know the rules, but a kid doesn't understand science, so... You reckon they're gonna sit here and read like 40 pages of instructions? <laughs> this is probably the most intricate kit here, but all they're doing is collecting my data. And now I'm suddenly realizing that if I put this in my bin, someone will rummage through it and take my DNA. <laughs> what is this chemical? Cornstarch. Okay, that's not a chemical. <laughs> What's this? Plaster. Also not a chemical. Chemical analysis. I'm just looking for the fun stuff. I'm gonna fingerprint myself and then we can look at my fingerprints. This is how you know your kid has ADHD. Because if you give your kid one of these kits for Christmas and then they turn around and they're like, Mom, I'm not reading the instructions. Instant diagnosis. I'm gonna just do my fingerprints because I think that's, that's gonna be fun. Finger, this is a, f I can't say finger. Why can't I say finger? Fingerprint slides and footprint mold wall. Well, what am I supposed to put it on? Oh, it's in the book. Well, that's how they get you to read the instructions. How am I supposed to, all right, as a kid, how am I supposed to read the instructions and also remember where to put my fingerprints? I need scissors, apparently, for this. And I'm supposed to write on it cornstarch so that I know, so that I don't eat any chemicals that I'm not supposed to because everyone knows that kids love putting their hands in their mouths. Well, this one's at least fun. The last couple of ones that we did have been shocking, actually. I'm just gonna write, kind of texture is this? <laughs> CS. But it. What am I supposed to put my fingerprint on? Oh, okay. I've done it backwards. I'm supposed to touch one of these little sticky things. These instructions suck, actually. Press a short piece of sticky tape onto the print. Again, they didn't give us any sticky tape in this. So how am I supposed to get my fingerprint? There's no sticky tape at all? No, there's no sticky tape. Is there sticky tape just in front of you? No. Uh, here's some sticky tape I prepared earlier. <laughs> not from the kit at all whatsoever. Yes, they did give us sticky tape. That's <laughs> How did I not see that though? That's like literally, it was right in the middle of the table too. Just focused on making great discoveries. That's right. I'm solving crimes here. No longer am I a woman in STEM. I am now a detective and the case is where are the scissors. I found them. <laughs> see, that's how good I am. Okay, so I'm going to touch something and put my fingerprint on it. I just want to see if this actually picks this up. Oh no, I've got to dust it with cornstarch first. I'm seven steps ahead of myself. That's how smart I am. I'm not even remembering what I'm supposed to do. So this is cornstarch, which is edible. Um, so if your parents tell you you can't eat it, they're wrong. And if you put water with this, it makes oobleck. Science! <laughs> I'm gonna just, I just want to see. I feel like I'm cooking. Now, that's not gonna work, is it? That's just gonna f up. Well, it just says lightly dust. Um, that didn't. Well, now my DNA is all over the table anyway, so this whole crime scene is contaminated from the very beginning. I also don't want uh, YouTube to see my fingerprints because if they see my fingerprints and I ever commit a crime, that's just cornstarch. Eight years old and up. That's what this kit's for. And I am obviously showing my age. Well, this doesn't make any sense. Fingerprinting is probably one of the easiest things to do and I can't do it. It literally just says, it gives you no, I, like, where am I supposed to put my fingers? <sighs> Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Maybe I'll just stamp my finger, I guess. I secretly leave some greasy fingerprints. That's pretty gross, but there we go. Have you ever thought about how hard it would be to commit a crime and get away with it? Because I shed hair so much. I would leave hair everywhere. 
Like really? That, that, that would fly into the second. I would have to actually shave my head continuously. I wouldn't be able to. If I committed a crime... You, you, you need to have like, you know, be taking, having like chemotherapy or something like that. Where you can before I can commit a crime. My fingerprint! I've done it. I've actually successfully done it. So that we can have a look at it. Well, oh no, now I've f***ed it because I put the sticky tape on the back of it. Oh no, you can still kind of see it. Wow. So exciting. Oh my god, actually, that is pretty cool. Hold up, wait. Science. Okay, so now we have to make an identical match. So that, that way then, if I ever do commit a real crime. I think this is less science and more just like... There's a lot of moving parts in this one. Get ready, because maybe next time we'll do climate change. Yay! This is also very underwhelming, actually. None of these kits make me feel like a real scientist. None of them make me feel smart. What's that smart. What do we do with the plaster? That's for your foot. Could make a mold of my foot and sell it online for science. How does that forensically work? What, what making what a... Mold, what is the mold for, like? For footprints. When you commit a crime, do you not walk on the ground where you're committing the crime? Or were you hovering? What are you, Jesus? What are you, like... What are you, what are you, what are you so that you could put the two and two. Come on, you should know this. This is friends, simple stuff, mate. Forensic science. <laughs> you Jesus, you're hovering through the crime scene. If you were hovering through a crime scene, honestly, I'd let you get away with it. You got so bigger I got, problems. Have I, got, have I got plaster shoes on or something like that. No, but you leave a footprint behind, don't you? What a plaster? No, the plaster is to get the footprint. Is to pick the footprint up. Just a perfect bit of mud yeah. near every crime scene. Yeah, that's right. right okay. That's how it works. Haven't you seen the shows? Everyone just like steps in mud and then walks a couple steps and then there's like a. We could do mere prints. Law and Order is like done, done. It's a set. It's a size seven like converse. This is underwhelming, actually. Maybe I could at least write a secret note. But even that seems stupid. Glowing fingerprints. Snap off a plastic sign, what a small area. I don't think I should be mixing chemicals like this, but I am going to anyway. Because this has been severely disappointing. Pressure finger on the side, but not too hard. A touch will do. And press over it with sticky tape, and then look at it glow under the light. Well, I don't feel any more sciency. Fingerprints, that's not glowing. Can you spit on the table? I'm not gonna spit on the table. You can do the, the glowy thing. No. Why? That's spin that glows, well, not like spit. Spit doesn't glow, glow, spit doesn't. Well, there's probably some science behind that, but I don't think this is a science lesson for YouTube. I think this is a science lesson for a different platform. But th do you, do you, I need to explain that to you? Because if so, there's, it's very concerning for me, not for you, but yes. Do you know why spit glows? Why? Because it's bioluminescent. Really? Did you know that? I didn't know that. Well, now you do. Science, baby. Nothing that this kit could have taught me have I taught you today, but there's nothing else I can do here. The invisible ink is shit. This is underwhelming. Every science kit that we've done so far has just been shit. So if you didn't learn anything today, at least you learnt that um, it is bioluminescent. Don't uh, ask me or Google it. I'm 100% sure because I'm a woman in STEM. As payment for watching this video, if somebody wants it, they can have my fingerprint. Like and subscribe.